Yeah, how's my favourite man in the whole world? Ah, Toya. I heard you were back. Yeah, I'm just on my way to see Leanne at the hospital. Thought I'd pop by. Uh, how are you? I'm OK. But I hear you're leaving town. Oh, unfortunately, yeah. Well, what's all that about? Long story. Yeah. Well, you best start filling me in while you get me a cappuccino. Right. So, you've wangled the night off. What's the plan? Hello? What? Tonight, New Year's Eve. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, um, decided to bistro or the pub, I guess. Did I hear the word pub? I thought you were with Joan Collins tonight. No, I might be out with Tracy. Yeah, as if she's not got something better on. Cuts both ways, that. And can't persuade you to stay. It's not like I'm emigrating. <laughs> well, how long do you think you'd be gone for? It's as long as it takes for the dust to settle. Mm. I've got to put some space between me and her. All right, well, give me best to Eddie. <laughs> hey, all right, can I get a Danish to go, please? Certainly. You all right, Toya? Yeah, you? Yeah, good. Heard you about. Yeah, nice to see you. Um, Eileen, um, I was just wondering if I could have a two-week extension on the rent. Um, I've lost my job. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No worries. At least I can do after all the help you've given, Pat. Oh, thank you. Thanks. How is he? Yeah, he's getting out of hospital today, actually. Oh, so quiet New Year. Well, if I can rein him in, but you know what he's like. Like a uh, quarter of dolly mixtures, please. Loose. <laughs> we don't do them any other way. I don't blame you for being suspicious of me, Norris. I saw the way you reacted when Mary said she was coming to South Africa. Yes, well, your mother is highly regarded round here. I know, and I'm proud. So if this uh, new life was anything less than how you've painted it, Look, I've come in here to assure you that's not going to happen. I'd ask the same questions in your position. I'm on my thing. But you might think that cheerful disposition means she sails through life without a care in the world. But beneath that facade is a sensitive heart, easily broken. You all right, Tarzan? Who? Um, King of the jungle. No, oh, sorry, I spoke. Is everything all right? Yeah, why wouldn't it be? Listen, if you're worrying about your mum, she'll be back from Janice's soon. I'm not some five-year-old kid. OK, so there is something. All right. I was flying my drone, and I saw you and Auntie Taya on camera in the ginnel, snogging. So, yeah, all that stuff about coming back to be with me, it's all lies, isn't it? Nice tonight. What's up? No, nothing. It's just I've only done a morning's work and I'm whacked. Well, you've got the afternoon off now. Well, to organise the party. Well, I can do most of that if you want some time out. I used to run six miles before breakfast, work a 12-hour day, then party all night when I was young. Ish. <laughs> right, so if I'm at Rita's getting ready between six and seven. This is the battle plan. No, I'm just working it out to avoid Gemma. If I catch her using my perfume one more time, oh, if only I'd lost that flat. There we are. All done and dusted. Right, well, you might as well get off. Nothing left to do here. Oh, Mary. Mary, final wage packet. I think you'll find it's all there. Thank you. Listen, uh, I don't often say stuff like this, but... You're going to be a really hard act to follow. Well, I am sure Todd will step into the breach. What, after he let me down in his dreams? <laughs> so, will I see you out celebrating tonight? Quite possibly. Right, well, if I don't see you, Mary, all the best, eh? Thank you, Tracy. Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year. Just to say we're meeting in a pub around six. This can't be happening. What? Well, a barking mad weirdo leaves town and I'm going to miss her. Really? Yeah, I mean, she's reliable, she's hardworking, the punters love her. Oh, no, Tracy, <laughs> snap out of it. <laughs> she's got to you. Oh, no, she hasn't. She's just a freak. Mm. So, six o'clock, you said. Oh, come on, 
then. Go, I'll see you later. I feel it has to come back sometime. I know, but it doesn't make it any easier, does it? What are we doing tonight? I don't know about you, but I don't mind staying in. Yeah, sounds perfect. Great. Listen, if you play your cards right, I'll do some Christmas cake with brandy butter. <laughs> All right. Not seen you for a while. Yeah, yeah, I've uh, been busy. All right, Seb. Happy New Year, Mrs Windass. Yeah, Happy New Year to you as well. Busy doing what? It's Christmas, family stuff. <laughs> I mean, I want that. Well, don't you want to spend tonight in mine? Really? Have a few drinks, sleep over. I mean, not if you don't want it. No, I'd love to. I'll ask Mum first, though. Well, then ask her. Look who's quiet now. All oh, right, look, Si, I, I can explain this, OK? It, it's not what it must have looked like, right? <laughs> Never is with you. Your Auntie Toya's been having a tough time at the moment. You know, her marriage has not been going too well. Oh, that's unusual for around here. So I was just, you know, trying to make her feel a bit better. And I gave her a bit of a hug and that turned into a sort of a kiss. And that's it. Is that the best you can do? It's true. You're seeing each other? No, no, we're not. You're jealous, isn't it, because he's with Mum? So you've gone for a sister instead? No, Silas, and you really have got this wrong now. So I got the first bit right? No, you didn't get the first bit right. <laughs> we'll see what Mum has to make of it. What? Si, come on. <laughs> she has a right to know. So the second she gets back, I'm going to tell her. Si, please, don't, don't do that. Last night at the Rovers. I can hardly believe it. Are you sure you're doing the right thing? Yes. I'm not saying this because I'm uh, losing a nanny. I know. I've never been more sure of anything in my life. The twins are going to miss you. I'll miss them too. You know, after Sunita died, um, I couldn't have got through it without you. I really hope it works out, Mary. Yeah. Okay, kids. Okay. We got you a present. You mean I made you a present? <laughs> Thank you. I, I wonder what it is. It's beautiful. I shall wear it every day. Don't go. But I... We're your family. Oof. So, any New Year's resolutions? And don't say to drink more and bed more, will you? I wasn't going to. Mm. I don't need New Year's to make them decisions. Oh, yeah? You're right. Oh, didn't tell me it was a kid's night out. I'd have brought Amy if I'd known. Uh, well, if you want to be in bed by midnight, Tracy, talk to up with your hot cocoa. Uh, excuse me, but I could drink you under the table any day. Uh, shouldn't you be slowing down at your age? I hear the big four O's coming up. OK, that's enough. Either you two play nicely or I'm off. Oh, blimey. Straight from the hospital to the pub, eh? Well, little Billy, what you fancy does you good, I always say, and I've got no intention of ruining Ireland's New Year's Eve. Well, as long as you don't overdo it and end up with a relapse. That's a white wine. Mm. And a half a shandy for me, please. Oh, you can be goody two-shoes when you want to be. I'm always on my best behaviour with you, love. <laughs> if not with others. Come up. What 
have you been? Well, I'm at the hospital. I'm allowed to switch my phone off. There would be more tests. Yeah, all right, anyway, never mind that. So I saw us kissing yesterday. What? Yeah, on that drone camera thing Nick bought him for Christmas. I tried a cock and bull story, but it just made it worse. So, anyways, I was going to tell Leanne. Are you joking? No, I, I wish. Oh, Leanne. Just been discharged on our way home with Nick. So what are we going to do now? Ollie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Happy New Year, mate. Listen, remember we once talked about me crashing at yours while I look for work in Bristol? Yeah, well, is, is that offer still on? Really? Great. Well, if there's no time like the present, how about tonight? How are we doing? Fine. All looking very nice. We've done this before, haven't you? Ten people with little nibbles. Mm. <laughs> oh, nasty things. What? I couldn't wear my nice ones. I put these in, but they keep slipping out. What do you mean you couldn't wear your nice ones? Oh, because I only caught Gemma wearing them, didn't I? I have to sterilise them now before I risk putting them in again. I don't know what I might catch. Not her again. She's blown my razor. I found her hair on my deodorant stick. Oh, please, too much information. Oh, well, I've had enough of her. Are you sure we've got enough bubbly? Listen, if you're fed up of slumming it with a house made from hell... Who comes home every night stinking her kebabs? Then why not move in with me? What? Well, pack your stuff. And... Uh, 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 I heard you, but did you mean it? I wouldn't have said. Me, living in Victoria Court. <laughs> Why not? Oh, Johnny! <laughs> <laughs> mm. That's the view from the sitting room. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> oh. So, how will you spend your time out there? Oh, I, I hadn't thought. Well, you won't have to work, unless you want to. Oh, I, I don't like to be idle. Oh. Life of pleasure, you won't have to lift a finger, Mary. Don't knock it. <laughs> I'd like three bottles of your best champagne to take out, please, Liz. Oh, with my pleasure. Nice. Reminds me of a place I used to have in Marbella. Wake up in the sun every morning. Can't beat it. <laughs> Hello? Oh. Now, why do I think you're not ringing to wish me Happy New Year? Right, well, I don't know about anybody else, but I am starving. Hot pot. I will pretend you didn't say that. Well, I'd say go to the bistro, but I've been suspended. And it's Andy's night off. What is wrong with you? Get a grip. If Robert says out, just, you know, tell him where to stick it. Yeah, you're right. Where is he, anyway? Oh, he's in the back ringing his mum. Oh. Are you going to ring your mummy, Luke? Maybe. You got a problem with that? I love it when you butch. <laughs> Leave it with me, don't worry. Cheers. Now then, here we are. So, that is £105 exactly, please. What's happened? The order for Chisholm's. Yeah. Have a go there. What? I'm going to have to deliver a new one from stock tonight. Tonight? Well, we'll miss the New Year's sales tomorrow, otherwise. Too big a client to mock about. Yeah, but what about the party? Well, you'll have to hold the fort. Get a bit of practicing hosting my soirees. Right, well, I'll, I'll go and pack a bag then and come on down. Steph? No, 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 she's, she's cool with it. I'm, I'm not really sure that's, that's going anywhere, to be honest. I'll get off anyway. Yeah, see you. Not avoiding me, I hope. I told you, leave me alone. Nobody tells me what to do. Who was that on the phone? My mother. Ah. Does your mum know you go around trying to kill people? I don't need this. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Have you forgotten something? I tell you what you need and what you don't need. Unless you want to go down for attempted murder. For you, prison. <laughs> Especially for pretty boys like you, if you 
get my meaning. Or you can have the alternative, face down in a ditch. Because you see, when I put my mind to something, unlike you, I see it through properly. Agents in five minutes since last New Year. Oh, I know. Six more minutes daylight today than, than ten days ago. And spring is on its way. All set. Oh, we're going to go to the beach, OK? Yeah, sure. How was she? What? Your mum. Oh, yeah, yeah, fine. Come on. Yeah. Right, let's go. Are you ready? Yeah, New Year's Eve. Do you mind? Well, I was just going to move these plates. Yeah, well, don't. Excuse me? What? <laughs> You're acting a bit like you own the place, if you don't mind me saying. Well, I don't own it, maybe. But I'll soon be living here. Beg your pardon? Johnny's asked me to move in with him. What? Here they come. Thing. Uh, he spoke to his mum on the phone. And his taxi boat to bring her back by one. Yeah, I know. She'd never have forgive you if she said no. Is that her? Oh, I would have thought so. Hello? Johnny? Whereabouts are you? Hang on a minute. Johnny Connor's broken down. He wants me to go and get him. Ruin our new year. How long will it take you? About an hourish. Good money, though. We'll pay through the nose for this. Oh, yeah, well, you need it for Sophie, don't you? And it's not like we're painting the town red, is it? You can say New Year in when you get back. I'll put Jack to bed when you're gone, if you like. Johnny, you're lucky you've not been drinking. I'm not going to bed yet. No, I know, darling. Uh, right! Ten minutes to go, everybody. So, charge your glasses, please. I'll do these. Thank you. <laughs> Emily to Peru a year ago, and, and now you, it, it's beginning to look like everyone's trying to get away from me. I beg your pardon? <laughs> no, I, I was saying, you know, Emily having gone to Peru and you going away, it's as if you're all trying to get away from me. <laughs> I seem to remember you tried to talk her out of it. Yeah. <laughs> you haven't done that with me. No, no, I mean, why, why should I? I mean, it, after all, it's none of my business, and if you've found something you've set your heart on, then... But it's never stopped you before. You're forever poking your nose in where it's not wanted. Oh, <laughs> but that is if... I mean, would you want me to try and talk you out of it? Out of it? Being with my family after all these years? Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> hey, what do you want? Yes, another red wine, please. Fresh and new on the 1st of January. 
Everybody's pleased to see it. <laughs> and in the air later, spew it out. I have never seen you this drunk before. No, seriously, how must it feel? I'm feeling a bit queasy. Really? I think I might have drunk too much. Oh, here we go. Maybe a bit of fresh air? Yeah, I think so. OK, I'll come with you. No, no, no. I'll be fine. You know, I think the world of you. Yeah, so you should. <laughs> This Friday night, the boy wizard begins a mission to destroy Voldemort in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1. And kickstart your New Year's Eve with Ben, Rochelle and Chris tomorrow at 7 in brand new Ninja Warrior UK.